Hey everybody, how's it going? So during the ending of it, the Losers Club conquers their fear of Pennywise, which allows them to defeat the evil being. And not really having a lot of options in that moment, Pennywise retreats down a well where he seemingly disappears from the Losers Club in Derry for the next 27 years. And after this, the various members of the Losers Club, not talking about the book version here, just go out of the sewer and they go their separate ways with many of them forgetting the events that happened in Derry. And that's why in this video we're going to talk about what happened to the Losers Club in between the events of IT Chapter 1 and before they returned to Derry in IT Chapter 2. So this is actually something that's really interesting to me because when I was rereading the books, when I was looking at the miniseries and the first movie again, I was always kind of curious about you know them really exploring more about certain characters and I definitely think if this was a TV show, that would be the perfect kind of vehicle for doing that, whether it's an anthology show where each season kind of follows a different character and what they're up to after Pennywise is first defeated. I don't know, I just think there's a lot of potential there because a lot of these characters go through very interesting routes to the point where a lot of people have hypothesized, a lot of fans at least, of the Stephen King novels They've theorized that maybe some of them made a secret deal with Pennywise, which through Pennywise being able to escape and him not being killed at the end of It Chapter 1, he gave them a little bit of something, whether it's fame, longevity with their life, because in the book he does say he can't give them an immortality, but he can basically give them an extended lifespan. So there's been little theories here and there that maybe Pennywise kind of gave them a reward in some way, shape, or form in order for his survival, but at the same time there's also rumors that Mature and the Turtle actually rewarded them for defeating Pennywise instead. I'm not going to get too much into that in this kind of video here, but going back on course, after the Losers Club makes their blood pack to reunite if Pennywise returns, like I said before, they eventually drift apart. Not all of them though, but for the majority of it, they kind of all just go their separate ways. Now, Bill, who's the older brother of Georgie, actually becomes a novelist with an affinity for horror novels. And in between It and It Chapter 2, at least in the source material, he writes up to four novels. And he also moves to England for a time and marries an actress named Audra Phillips, who actually does play a big role in the second half of It, and she's described as looking similar to Beverly Marsh. Now regarding Beverly, she actually leaves Maine to travel the world as a fashion designer, and unfortunately, during this time gets trapped in an abusive relationship, which is not just abusive in a verbal or physical state, but also a little bit mental with a lot of controlling and stuff like that, which a lot of people think is because of her very screwed up relationship with her father in the books. Now, during her time away, her father does die, resulting in her old home becoming abandoned and boarded up without her knowledge, which is why in the beginning of It Chapter 2, you'll see that she goes to her old home not realizing that it's boarded up and stuff like that, and instead thinks that someone new just lives in it. And obviously that's really just Pennywise playing a trick on her. But going on to a different member of the Losers Club, we have Richie, who after leaving Derry, starts a career as an entertainer with a focus on music and also to some extent acting. In living in California, his DJ name is Rich Records Tozier, and I hope I pronounced that right. And he's also really close to Eddie, who himself moves to New York City and becomes an entrepreneur with the Limousine Company, which becomes pretty successful, however he ends up in a very unhappy marriage. Now Stan becomes an accountant and lives in New York as well, before eventually relocating to Atlanta, Georgia, and there he also marries a woman named Patricia and lives a seemingly very happy life until he gets the call to return to Derry. And he doesn't actually make it to Derry because he's unable to face Pennywise again and instead commits suicide. Now there are rumors and just people theorizing because of things Pennywise says in the books about his last moments that maybe Pennywise actually led Stan to commit suicide instead of Stan doing it himself, which would be really interesting, and I hope in IT Chapter 2 they give some clarity on that. And Ben, of all people, actually gets really focused on his health and becomes a model, along with having a mild alcohol problem, which isn't like an alcoholic problem, but it is known that when he's really stressed out and stuff like that, his coping mechanism is some alcohol. Now Mike, unlike the others, and this is a very key thing here, doesn't actually leave Derry. And because he didn't leave Derry, he's able to maintain all of his memories and focuses on preparation for Pennywise's return. And he becomes a historian of some sorts and also the town librarian, which allows him the access to certain things that allows him to 
look at old images, newspaper clippings, stories, this and that, that helps him piece together Pennywise's patterns and also just kind of a general idea of when Pennywise will return and kind of what he'll probably, like his MO. But how do you guys feel about the various paths to lose this club went? Let us know your thoughts down below. Which character are you most excited to see return in IT Chapter 2? And we'll see you guys later.